So I'm going to show you a site that's doing $700,000 a month minimum just with SEO. It's going to be a boring video if you don't care about SEO, but if you do care about SEO, search engine optimization, it's going to be a pretty cool, valuable video. So yeah, let's just get started with the boring stuff. Right, so let's get started. Let me just minimize my face here really quickly. I have all this to show you, so let's go over it, um, starting with the title. So $7,000 dollars a month with SEO. Now, this is not traffic, this is dollars, this is an actual value. And uh, they went from essentially 10K visitors a month to 400K. So we could say that these 400K users a month are bringing in a value of 700K. And I'll show you in a second where does this value come from because um, it is, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm able to back it up essentially. Now, the niche is Mattress Reviews website. Essentially, it is a site which, unfortunately, I cannot show because i got to keep the client's identity uh, secret. But essentially, it is a site that makes money with affiliate. They review mattresses and then they link out to these mattresses companies and they make money with affiliate. Simple concept, not easy to do, but a quite a simple concept, right? And um, I'm going to go over why matters in just a second because uh, they tapped into a niche that was really popular in 2016 when they started. So let me get started with uh, where they were and where they wanted to go. So the and when I say we, uh, I mean the people that did this SEO strategy. It was not me. It was someone on Vetted, which I'll go over in, in the end of the video if you want to hire him or work with him. But yeah, so we started working with a brand in 2016, so a while back. And the company had big aspirations and wanted to really catch the wave of the new box mattresses. So if you don't know, back in 2016, a lot of companies were born. Uh, the most famous one was Casper. Essentially, you'd buy your mattress in a box. It was delivered to your house uh, in a, I don't know, a couple of days, right? And for example, Casper here had an investment of 55 million in a round of venture capital funds in 2015 and reported that they had done over $100 million in sales since launching in April 2014. So one year, hundred million dollars. So people were really into box mattresses, of course, that uh, sprung up a bunch of other uh, companies. I think Helix is still around. I do think Casper is still around still, but uh, the uh, wants for mattresses like this have gone a bit down. And with all the crisis in the world, um, some of these companies aren't doing so well. But uh, I just wanted to um, give you a bit of context on why um, mattresses, right? And why uh, they really wanted to catch the wave because Everyone was in on this. I'm sure you, you kind of heard about all these uh, mattress companies. So again, they were becoming incre increasingly popular back then. And um, it was a hugely growing market, and it still is to some extent, right? Even though some of these went down, people are still uh, buying it. I don't really want to get into the finances of this, but people are still buying uh, mattresses like this. And at the time, right, in 2016, they were getting under 10K visitors a month to the site. Now, I do want to give a disclaimer. Yes, SEO did help. But of course, the increasing demand for such a product, of course, increased the visibility of their site, right? But they wanted to grow exponentially as the market did. So we have a market growing exponentially, right? And we have a site that was growing, again, with the trend, but they wanted to grow with the market as well, exponentially as the market grew, which of course makes sense. And that's why, um, so my, my notes here is, capture a growing market, a growing trend. Now, I still have a lot to talk about here, but uh, just this beginning part, it's um, pretty cool to see that you can do this. You can do something sim similar, sorry, for the AI boom, for the AI age. And I wrote here, sell shovels to people wanting to buy gold or dig gold, right? These guys were selling the, the gold, right? The mattress reviews website was selling the shovel, right? Essentially, they were a site that aggregated a bunch of these reviews for all of those companies, right? They sold shovels to people wanting to buy gold. Pretty simple. They didn't start a mattress company. They just started a site that aggregated all this, uh, all this information and brought clients to these companies. Now, again, capture growing market. You could do this with AI right now. I don't want to go over into any ideas because it's not a video for it, but um, just letting you know that there is always an opportunity to capture growing markets and do, for example, affiliate SEO, right? You can do a lot of things with this. Now, we have the where they were and where they wanted to go. Let's go over what we did as an SEO. So we organized ourselves and got the team to start a large outreach effort to help with help the mill, sorry, 
40 to 80 blogger outreach links per month. So essentially what this is, is that the team went out and reached out to 40 to 80 bloggers every single month that were in the niche of mattresses or niche of home goods, for example, and asked them, asked these bloggers, how much would they want uh, us to pay them to post a link on their site? Or if they were wanting, were wanting to have content written on their site, and in exchange, they would send a link back to us. So essentially, you have our site here for the Mazars reviews. You have all these blogs, either they're looking for content, either you can pay them to post your content there, but all of them would link back to us thus giving us a lot of link uh, juice, which is what we want, right? SEO, we have the on-page, we have the off-page. Off-page is often mostly uh, link building. Now, I did skip here something by mistake, uh, but essentially uh, the company knew somewhat what they're doing, right? So they asked us to come in and help them with a mixture of more general guest postings, okay? And also help them with a digital PR uh, to get some more premium links like the ones from Forbes, MSNBC, etc. And I have here an example, and this is from March 2023, so a couple of weeks ago, right? And as you can see, I'm not sure if this is a paid post or not. Essentially, this is a post on one of these uh, very popular sites about Casper, right? I'm sure there's a link somewhere hidden in here for uh, Casper. So again, I'm not sure if this is a paid one, but this is essentially what they did, right? Gather a bunch of these high-end publications, both from a PR standpoint and also from a guest posting more classic uh, standpoint, I guess. Uh, when I say classic, it's just reaching out to bloggers. Um, and also, again, a more... Uh, PR. I have a video solely on PR and why I think uh, PR is the future or he's a very big part of the future of SEO. I'll link it in the description. So it's interesting to see that even back in 2016, they were doing a mix of link building with the quote unquote uh, generic guest posts and a, a PR strategy. Pretty interesting. Now, to get numbers like this, uh, essentially this required our outreach team to really go to town and at the time, they utilize tools like Buzzstream, Hero, or Hero, uh, MyBlogU, and a range of other tools to essentially uh, find suitable niches, relevant sites to get content and links placed on. Because I say this often, you don't just want powerful links, you want relevant links too, right? The best of the best link is one that's powerful and relevant. And often it's quite hard to find a mix of both and people just mostly focus on power instead of relevancy. But if you can have both, uh, that's a good thing. And tools like this do help you out a lot with this. Now, these are expensive links, just to just want to throw that out there. Um, and I guess I can even tell you who, who's doing this, who's behind the strategy. And it's uh, Cormac, hopefully I'm saying his name correctly, uh, it's from London. And uh, he does sell some of the links that uh, I'm talking about here on Vetted, right? This is a service and you can even have a look at some of these links. As you can see, you can get a link from a site with almost 50,000 in organic traffic. These are the metrics. Again, I don't focus too much on metrics because they can be easily manipulated, but Ahrefs ones are one of the hardest ones from what I've seen to manipulate. And we have, and we have here another one too. So if you want to grab these links, um, Carmack was uh, kind enough to give us a coupon if you just use Carmack 15 uh, here at Vetted. I'll leave a link in the description as well. At checkout, you can just grab a service and get, uh, I think it's 15% off. I'm not sure if it is $15, but I do think it's 15%. You can read through this. Essentially, you will be hiring the same person uh, that built out this um, amazing strategy and that built out, um, managed to build out these so, so powerful links that to, took this site from here to here and with a traffic value of almost 700,000, but we'll cover that in just a second. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw that out there that you can actually grab some of these links with uh, this service right here, which again, I'll leave a link in the description for it. Now, in the preceding years, things have obviously changed, sorry, and we utilized everything from manual outreach, which is again, outreaching bloggers, to tools like Hunter, PR campaigns on uh, Cision. Cision is a, essentially a PR service uh, to gain placements, right? That is for links on these more trustworthy sources, because you can pay for links anywhere. If you want a link on Forbes, you can pay for it. If you want a link on um, Hacker News or you want a link on uh, Huffington Post, you can pay for anything in this world, right? You just have to have the budget. Um, so yeah. And um, interesting here is that they used um, a, a hashtag on Twitter called journal requests um, to get placements. And the journal requests essentially, a, when people use it, it's for people that want to hire or want to talk with experts from a certain field and you can get links or placements using this. For example, I just went here on Twitter and just searched for journal requests. 
And for example, uh, Lauren here is saying, looking to speak with a psychologist or psychotherapist with a specialist, specialism in workspace stress. Now, now she could be looking for someone to do a full writing piece on, or she's just wanting some information on some topic. But of course, if you help her, she will, of course, link back to you if you have a trustworthy source. And they use this um, heavily. So it's pre pretty interesting strategy if you're like, build links this way. This on its own could be a separate video on how to build links this way. But uh, it's quite interesting that they threw this in here because... Um, it is, it, is, it is, in fact, a good strategy, right? And the results, I mean, the results speak for themselves. Um, the site has gone from about 10K visitors a month to 400K visitors a month, and I'll show you these in just a second, and it's going on up percent. And the traffic, according to Ahrefs, is valued at $700,000 a month. So, of course, the investment has been usually worth it for the team. I have here two screenshots. I'll go over the Ahrefs one just a bit, so you can see um, traffic value, 700000 essentially, and the uh, organic search, let me go over, over here. When they started back in 2016, I mean, virtually nothing, and now uh, waving at around 400,000, right? So the trend is still, it has been a bit stagnant for the last couple of, uh, for the last year, right? But um, the trend, as you can see, it is still an upward trend. Um, if we draw a trend line here, it is still an upward trend. So it's interesting to see that uh, SEO paid off here, and I do have to add this, I cannot forget. Um, SEO did pay off here. Uh, so it's interesting to see that it takes time, but it does pay off. Now, my goal with these videos is not to go really in-depth in the actual strategies. I do want to do that to some extent, but um, for that, I have other videos that, are go, that go more in-depth. On these ones, I just, wanted to, I just want to uh, tell you and show you the value of SEO, the power SEO can have, because um, yeah, it's quite powerful. And I have here a screenshot. I guess I can even go here and show you. Um, okay, I have to hide the domains, but... Uh, the number of organic keywords that are ranking for almost 140,000 organic keywords at the moment, uh, 120,000 backlinks, uh, almost 9,000 referring domains. I'll have to blur some of these, but if you go to backlinks, uh, you can see here the anchor text. I, can, I have to block. Uh, I have to blur the anchor text. Backlinks from Wikipedia, backlinks from Reddit, GoDaddy, another one from Wikipedia. What else we have here? Um, yeah, a bunch of backlinks from these hyper trustworthy sources, and uh, yeah. By the way, if you want to grab this, you can. I'll leave a link in the description for it. Uh, it's uh, this campaigns tool. It's a pretty uh, cool tool, in my opinion. So, because a drafts can get a bit complicated, there's just too much information. So, if you want a more simple, clean, easy to use tool, you can use this one. You can access to organic keyword data, backlinks, top pages, top keywords, competition. Um, you can connect with Google Search Console as well. There's a demo video here of me explaining what it is. So yeah, pretty cheap. I think it's nine dollars a month. So if you want to grab it, um, I mean that's the tool I use for some of these audits. I do combine it with Ahrefs, but Ahrefs is quite expensive. I think I'm paying my hundred dollars a month, and there, there's a bunch of data that I don't use here because I, I don't have use to it, right? Use for it, sorry. And on this one, I use everything, a single thing. So yeah, let's just throw that in there for you. Now that's about it uh, for this one. Uh, if you want to hire the guy that did the strategy, Carmack. You can do so via this uh, link that I'll leave in the description uh, right here. You can grab some of these his powerful links. Again, power and niche relevant. Just make sure to use Cormac 15 to get uh, to don't pay full price. But if you don't hire him, not just for this uh, one-off or not just for link building, you can hire him on a more re on a recurring basis. Just go to vetter.com, click this link, and you'll be redirected to this page. And here you can essentially hire him or any other any other person to actually go over the shoulder with you and actually build a tailored SEO strategy for you on a month to month basis, right? Not just buying links here and there or content here and there. With this, if you're approved, because we only approve certain types of businesses, I'll tell you that the minimum budget we, we onboard uh, is businesses with a $1,000 per month um, each. If you're not there yet, no worries. You can, of course, buy these product as services. You can also, of course, if you want, to pick his brain, you can schedule a consulting call with him. Just go to his profile, click this button, and schedule a call with him. You can even pick his brain on what he did actually. We actually did sorry with this strategy. Like, if you want to know a bit more about where they were or what they did exactly, where they found the links, how did they found them, maybe a bit more about these journal requests on Twitter, what they did. You can of course again just book a call with him and pick his brain about that. Uh, but if you want to hire him for a more managed solution, just go to this link as well, and uh, you can do so via here. Um, essentially just fill out a form we'll match you with a couple of prof professionals again, only if you're interested and finally I guess I gotta promote this little plugin we're almost at 315 installs 
which is a plugin for technical SEO, right? You install it on Chrome, totally free, and if you click it, you can see a bunch of information, meta title, meta description, um, meta images, headings, how many age ones you have, images without alt text, with alt text links, a bunch of stuff. Again, it's free. It's for a, if you want to do a quick analysis on a site, um, pretty cool. I've been using it for a while now. Uh, so yeah, just want to throw that in there as well. Thank you so much. Hopefully you like this one. Hopefully you like these uh, sort of videos. I know I don't go much in depth into the strategy, but um, again, the goal is to show you the power of SEO. Hopefully I was able to do that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like, and uh, yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Cheers.